Hi, Phil. Someone tells me you're going to destroy another uh, generator, right? <laughs> Until there are none left. <laughs> Until there are yeah, none left. One. one at a time <laughs> around the whole world. <laughs> And that is it. So it would seem that there well, is a bit of mass 44. Uh, so the carbon dioxide shot right up. Okay, so yeah, the CO2 44, so mass 44 there, and it's gone way, way up. And that is two inches from the exhaust. Two inches from the exhaust. It is absolutely categorically impossible for that not to have come from that exhaust right so that co2 that you see there that jump there is coming from the output of the thunderstorm generator unequivocally right the next one we see here is mass 12 carbon you can see that's going up but given the fact that it's down in the lowest part of the logarithmic scale that isn't much but it's definitely there the good thing is we're not seeing any uh, uh, parts of unburnt fuel here. So this is good because we did see that when the generator was running without a load uh, ordinarily. Actually not without a load, it's on idle, right? Yeah? It's on idle, yeah. Yeah, okay, so we, we need the, to go uh, and throw the load on. The only load is the UV light bulb currently. Well, let's, oh, okay, well we, so. we, we got our baseline with it in idle before we let it settle and then we applied the load so let's do the same okay so uh we leave this running for a little while but on idle the unmodified generator also did not show any unburned hydrocarbons here so definitely 100 percent certainly the thunderstorm generator is producing co2 okay and as things stand uh it is not producing any um uh hydrocarbon fragments here the other interesting thing is there's no hydrogen peak here, and I do believe we did see that uh, with right. the idle. Correct. In fact, I can actually bring up, this is the review yeah, well, of the experiment yesterday. Yeah, okay. A bit of hydrogen in so here we go. This is, this is our lovely Santa Cruz air here. And we come on, this is the first test here, and immediately you see hydrogen there. We go across here, and immediately you see hydrogen. So we've got hydrogen here. And the assumption is that this hydrogen is coming from some unburnt hydrocarbons here. So we go over here, and at this point, if you look at that, that's where the, the, the main run started with the nickel 200 mesh. And here we are, we have unburnt hydrocarbons here. Unburnt hydrocarbons, and some of that is resulting in the production of hydrogen here. And then when do we put on the, that's the addition of the 1.5 kilowatt hill heater here. So in, in all of this point here, we had unburnt hydrocarbons, unburnt hydrocarbons and hydrogen here, right? And here we have the addition of the uh, 1.5 kilowatt heater. And what happens when we go past that? We get uh, similar, if not more, uh, around about the same. There's a couple of dips down where we get a lot of hyd uh, hydrocarbons. Something happened with the engine at those points. But anyway, we're getting a lot of... Uh, unburnt stuff here so when it's with idle over here 
There's some idling over here that you can see some little examples of hydrocarbons there, but we do see that hydrogen, which implies that there is some unburnt material coming through. Okay? Unburnt material coming through in the unload situation. And here we are, go back to the live data from the experiment running outside, and we don't see any hydrogen or hydrocarbons at all. So it does look like it's doing the cleaner burn on the idle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's hydrogen for sure. Well, zero hydrogen. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's. <laughs> it isn't there. But your CO2 is still up there. Your CO2 is still up there. So, like, but, it, you know, uh, what, now what's CO? It's 28, isn't it? So here so is. No, it's there. Yeah, 28 is there, but you've also got. Um, uh, Mass 28 is also two nitrogens, right? Yeah. So what what is the level there? It's it's seeing nitrogen is blue. It's here, three right? three one four there. Three one four. Okay. I, I don't know whether we can see something similar here. Uh, so when are we running on idle here? Our nitrogen and 28 there. Right. So it's marginally up at the moment uh, at that particular point there. All right, okay, so carbon monoxide, you know, that's where it would be. That's why you need a, a mass, a, a, a exhaust detector, because the carbon monoxide absorbs um, uh, infrared. Yep. And so you can actually detect that, whereas this is just telling you the mass number, which could be nitrogen N2. Now, it's worth noting that, uh, to my knowledge, this thunderstorm generator has never uh, been measured to produce quote good results. This right. Is, this is the one I had in India, and I had okay. I was never able to get the CO two under nine percent. Well, the the CO two yeah. is is I was able there. to get CO uh, down to about point two percent. Yeah, I mean the CO two is basically equivalent here. That 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 level there. If we go up to the top. Uh, is eight point well let, let's go to the right point here somewhere there there okay we can't see it oh so there yeah so the co2 there on mass 44 is 8.31 and in the control experiment yesterday when we are running without a load the 44 is uh it's 29.38 Meaning what? Well, it's not 8.44. Put <laughs> four four is a lot smaller than 29.38. Well, 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 that, that's of the uh, CO. That's yeah, it's the CO mass yeah. 44. CO2. Yeah. CO2 is uh, 44 there. So it is 29.38. And if we go to the live data here, um, and we go here, it's 8.57. At the same distance from the exhaust. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, certainly, it's not producing the hydrogen there, uh, and we're seeing no signs of hydrocarbons. If you wouldn't mind, can we just quickly, because it seems to be pretty flat here. Okay. Let's throw a load on it. Let's throw the load on okay, it. So we have a seam seamless video. Sure. End to okay. end. Let's do it. So the load is down here. Carry the load out here. It's a load that weighs a load.
see what has happened. Okay, so interestingly, we still ha we do have well, some hydrogen, hydrogen back, now. Huh? We do have some hydrogen, but we have no no hydrocarbons. No hydrocarbons. Yeah. Let's see what what's happened to the CO uh, CO2, CO2 here. CO2 looks like it's actually So the CO2's dropped. gone down. Yeah, it's dropped. What the hell? Interesting. It's got yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So what is the hydrogen level under load here? It's point you see this is logarithmic. This is where you you can get you can be confused by the size of the bars here. This is uh 0.32. Okay. It's not very much. It's not very much. What was it when we were on load? So the load comes in here, 1.5 kilowatt heater. You can see how dirty that is. Look at that, it's really dirty. I would not want to be anywhere near that exhaust, right? And we go over here, 0.75. So I think the conclusion is it is burning cleaner. At the same distance sampling from the exhaust. Well, but you know, on that proviso, but, but, but there might be some air mixing going on. Well, exactly, maybe. exactly. That's that. That's the the caveat is that you're probably getting there's a lot more air running through that pipe now. Right? But it doesn't matter. Is it an afterburner? If it's an yeah, afterburner right, and it's right. getting rid of that pollution, that's good. That's well, a and so what I'd like to do is experiment with a couple different areas for probe placement. Yeah. And let's see if that changes out towards the perimeter. If you are whipping your carbons out. Towards, more towards the outer perimeter, and they're fanning out and diffusing. Okay, well, let, try and find the worst position. Right, exactly. exactly. The absolute worst. Right. Exactly. Yeah? Yep. But um, as that's... Well, but for, let's just let's let it do its thing for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is the exact same position we had it relative yeah. to the uh, control. Yes. So we just... And honestly, it. you don't smell in the environment the dirty, dirty burn. No. The no. nose doesn't yeah. smell it. That doesn't mean you aren't smelling... It's true. ...toxic... But gases right well co doesn't smell like anything so. yeah like co doesn't smell of anything i think one of the nitrous one of the nasty nitrous oxides or nitric yeah. oxide yeah. no nitric no, oxide is okay you take that yeah, in the blue pill nitrous oxide yeah, yeah yeah whatever this this is uh, very supportive of the hypothesis that at least it's it's acting like a an afterburner style yeah um uh clean it clean removing nasty yep. pollutants I mean that's striking on the hydrogen that means it hasn't got much hydrocarbons to play with right. it, has, it can't make any hydrogen because well, there's, there's no HC coming in it's not registering anything it's not, regist it's not registered anything yeah yeah